are helping to pay for roads in Mexico. And what do you do when a tree stands in the way of a home expansion? Cody standing by with more in your news of the weird. Can you get the feeling she just read that story because she wanted to say the word loon? Over yeah, loon, loon, loon. I think there might be something to do that. All right, working out stress in New York City is as easy as one-two punch. That's because public punching bags have been placed across the city. A design studio is behind the idea, so anybody can take a moment and relieve some tension. This is a fantastic idea. Each yellow bag features the message, a healthy place for frustration. The first one was placed in May with more popping up for New York City Design Week. So far, the response is positive with one person posting on social media, this is awesome. I don't know who to thank for this. Oh my word, thank you. <laughs> I think that's... That's a great idea. I love it. Maybe we can do that here. A family home in India has turned into a large tree house, but it's not suspended up in the air. Instead, it surrounds the tree. The family decided to expand their home, but the giant fig tree was in the way. Well, rather than cut it down, they, they built the four-story house around it. Now the concrete villa is complete with a trunk growing through the middle and thick branches coming through the windows, walls, and the roof. Fig trees are considered sacred in India, and cutting one down is sacrilegious for some. Be kind of cool to have a tree right in the middle of your house, don't you think? Yes. That's neat. Mexico's criminal underworld is making a difference and helping to build roads, all thanks to thousands of items uh, seized and recently put up for auction. That included a white gold bracelet adorned with crocodiles and 1,300 diamonds. There was also a yellow gold pendant in the shape of a bullet covered in 450 tiny black diamonds. The gold, the auction was to raise $1.1 million to build roads in western Mexico. So something good came out of that. Buying beer in Belgium is now going to cost you more than a couple of euros. It's going to cost you your shoe. The yes, owner shoe? of one bar has added a collateral to help deter patrons from stealing their glasses. Many are concern, uh, considered an elaborate work of art, and guests are skipping out with a unique souvenir. The shoes are put in a basket and dangled from the ceiling. When you get the glass back, you get your shoe back. The owner admits it's not foolproof, but it has helped. All shoes are accepted, even a flip-flop. It's the, it's the theory of the bowling alley. You know, they let you borrow the shoes, you give them your shoes. Yes. Sometimes people still go with the bowling alley shoes out. All right, there you go. That's your news of the weird. Thanks, Back Code. Here. All right, uh, this.